Hello Kano players, this is Henry Ski, player success lead over here at Kano Apps, here to talk a little bit about raid bosses. Raid bosses are one of our most exciting features. It's a great way to level up and make friends and really get a good amount of bang for your buck in terms of experience and item rewards. So you definitely want to be able to join a raid boss if you've never done so before. So first what you want to do is navigate to the bosses tab. You can either do raids for your existing bosses or you can go to the bosses tab and click join the hunt here. Here you'll be able to see the leaderboards. As we get into the raid boss season, you'll see tons of names fill up and you'll be able to see which players have done the most attacks, which have done the most heals, and which have done the most kills. And of course, there are rewards for being at the top of the leaderboards. How do you summon a raid boss? Well, there's two ways. And the manual way is to collect four different keys, each of which will be available in specific location. In this case, they're going to be in New York, London, Las Vegas, and Dubai. Every raid boss is a little different, so keep that in mind, but you are going to need some energy to complete jobs in order to be randomly rewarded for the keys. For the purposes of this video, I really want to show you the second way we can summon this raid boss. The second way is when we buy a raid pass, and that's only for 20 FP. So we're going to go ahead and buy the raid pass here. It's going to ask for our confirmation. And there we go. We have used the raid pass on the CTU assault team and boom, there we in. Oh, look at that. I got an achievement for it. Nice. There are two different actions you can take on a raid boss. One is going to be attack and barrage down here. Basically, you're just using different amounts of stamina and you can heal your party as well, because as you'll notice, the more I attack the boss, our party health is going to decrease yielding lower amount of experience. So you wanna make sure you expend some energy to heal up the group. Now, I say group, but it's only me in here so far. And I'm gonna tell you right now, there is no way I am going to be able to take this raid boss down by myself. So here is our private invite link. Down here is the link you're gonna share with your friends in order for them to join. What I wanna do is share this link with my syndicate, which right now is Griff, and I'm gonna publish that to the message board, okay? You can also share your boss in the job chat or the syndicate chat, as we've mentioned. Keep in mind that the raid bosses are very popular and they're going to fill up quickly. You can also make your raid boss public if you want as many people joining as quickly as possible. As you can see, we have enough for 30 fighters. I'm gonna add in a couple of my friends now to help me out kill this boss. As you can see here, we already have some friends joining us, which is just great. If you wanna see how your teammates are doing, you can see who's done the most healing, who's done the most damage, and who's done the most total actions. In terms of rewards, you're guaranteed one legendary item if you defeat the raid boss if it's the first time you've summoned it. Additionally, if you've done the most amount of actions total, you'll be guaranteed a legendary item. You will still have a chance at getting a superior item for the raid boss as long as it's killed, and you've performed the minimum amount of actions, so you can't just summon it and set it and forget it. We really encourage players to be active participants in this raid boss. Keep in mind that raid bosses are open for four days, so you'll have a lot of time to take them down. And you can join up to as many as 30 raid bosses at any given time, depending on the game. Let's uh, have a look at what happens when we kill our raid boss here. On the left hand side, you'll be able to see your own contribution, including the number of damage that you dealt, the number of attacks and heals that you've done, how much experience you gained, what was your cash situation, all great things you can see over here, including your raid party information and the reward drop chances. And if you want to see the kind of rewards that this raid boss drops, you can always click on view rewards. I'm going to go ahead and collect my reward right now here. Keep in mind that raid boss rewards must be collected within 48 hours of killing the boss. So don't leave them unattended for too long. So there you go. That is how you go about doing a raid boss. If you're ever uncertain about the details, head into the forums or into the chats and you'll be able to find a number of players that will be able to help you out.